Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey guys, Steven Turner here with Turner Fishing. And are you tired of this always happening? Now, if you're like me, I would rather be having this happen. It's a freaking toad! Flip me, flip me, flip me. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Palomar knot. It's a really, really simple knot. It holds great, and it'll work for about 90% of baits that you currently own. Um, the only downfall of a Palomar knot, I would say, from my personal experience, is spinner baits and buzz baits because it the knot slips on the wire because it's not like super snug so yeah let's dive right in it there's two ways to start it uh we'll play the intro and we'll get in it and if you enjoy these tip videos if you could hit the thumbs up for me and if you're new to the channel and you love fishing as much as i do consider subscribing down at the bottom so the first thing with a pilot or not we're gonna use these scissors these holes right here are going to be like your uh, your bait, that your eyelid of your bait. So th the first way to get one started, and the simplest way, is to double your line like this. And you would take this in and stick it through so it turns out like that. But if you have a smaller jig head or something that's hard to fit it in, because you don't want to crimp your line, to force it in because that's going to make the knot not as strong as normal so what you want to do you want to go in like you normally would so it looks like this but you want to make it a little bit longer and then come back and go back through that way it does the same thing but you don't crimp, crimp your line at the top all right so the second step once you get your line where it's doubled up through through the eyelid you want to do an overhand knot just like you're tying a shoe and you want to pull it not tight but snug and once you get to this step step three you want to take the loop you just created with the overhand knot and you want to put your bait through it just like that and pull it all the way through and then all you got to do is take your tag in and your main line and you just want to stick it in your mouth and wet it and then pull it tight i'm not going to pull this one all the way tight because i want to get my scissors out um, i'm gonna switch over and tie like a crankbait or something I got 65 pound braid so y'all can see that a little bit better so you want to go in i've already doubled my line see i was doubled like that i'm gonna come in right here i can get this on the camera and you want to put it right through grab that and you want to grab your other side and you want enough room so your bait can fit through the loop so like let me back up there you go so then you want to tie an overhand knot which is basically you go over your hand and you put the the double end through the hole then you want to pull that tight. Well, not like you don't want to jerk it. And the hole you just made, you want to put the bait through it and pull up and hold that up and grab it with your other hand. And then you just pull it, everything tight. All right, then you, you wet the line, everything's nice. And you pull it now with any knot you don't want to sit here and yeah that's a good knot right there you don't want to do that because you just killed your knot and then basically once you're done you have a long tag in right here 
and if you were tying a drop shot all you'd have to do is run it back through and then tie your weight on and there's your drop shot but this one we're just going to clip off right here and i like to leave a little bit of tag because if, if you have your tag line too close to your lure I mean, when you jerk and that knot wants to give just a, just a little bit, it, your knot's gonna give. So if that fish is smart enough, like a lot of people say, well, if your tag line's too long, you're not gonna catch as many fish. I mean, honestly, if, if the fish is smart enough to see that little one inch of tag line and he can't see the 200 yards you have spooled up to the actual lure, then that fish too smart for you to catch, honestly. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit a thumbs up for me. And if you could, share the video on Facebook with somebody that might need to learn how to tie a palomar knot. This has been Stephen Turner with Turner Fishing. Yee!